N3 Fifth Games Thai Limited, formerly Oran Development and later N3 VRF 41L Publishing, is an Australian video game developer and publisher based in Helensvale, Queensland, Australia. Oran is now operated as a holding company, with operations and development ceded to N3 Fifth Games, a different closely held company. Topic History. Oren was established by Greg Lane and Graham Edelston in 1995, and released its first game, Dark Reign, The Future of War, in 1997. Dark Reign sold over 685,000 units and was rated in the top 10 real-time strategy games by the U.S. magazine Game Developer. The game received a 9.2 rating on GameSpot and was called, "...one of the most impressive games released this year in any genre." By the mid-2000s, Tony Hilliam had established a video game company and 3VRF41L Games while occasionally participating on the Oran forums as a trains fan. When Oran overextended backing the wrong product in early 2007, Hilliam bought in, and initially brought out several republished or rebundled package releases as new product titles to boost cash flow, Trains Roots, Trains Complete Collection and eventually the regionally focused Trains Classics and Europe-only releases. Since 2007, the retitled N3 Fifth Games has taken over primary day-to-day -day operation, development, and management of the Oran – N3V panoply of resources, websites, holdings, and software. Oran Jet Success of Dark Reign spurred interest in the game engine from other games developers, and Oran began in-house development of a generalized version of the graphics engine for licensing to third-party companies based on its self-developed middleware game engine called the Oran Jet and in 1998 began development of a more specialized version for what became the game engine for the Trains series of train simulator products. Beta tested with Trains 0.9 in 2000 amongst railfans, and with a major new release about every two and a half years. Oran grew steadily on the train's revenues and, in 2007, invested heavily and overextended its finances developing the Fury video game, a player versus player based massively multiplayer online game which never recouped its costs. In the ensuing bankruptcy the company lost most of its development staff. Prior to that and the Trains series of simulators, Oran had published a number of Oran Jet-based games for the Australian market, including Freedom Force vs. The Third Reich, Shadowgrounds and Hearts of Iron II, Doomsday. Key transitions In late 2005, after overseeing the stabilization four service packs released in one year of the Trains 2004 and Trains 2006 retail releases, one of the company's founders, Greg Lane, left, saying publicly it was time to move on. Lane was responsible for the development of Dark Rain and Trains as well as the early Oran Jet graphics engine of Trains V1, X, Trains Virtual Railway and the Ultimate Trains Collection, the upgraded Jet technology Jet 2 of Trains 2004 and Trains 2006 and evolutionarily, is still at the heart of all Trains releases through TS-2009. This was overhauled as Jet 3 in the TS-2010 version and again improved with the last 32-bit release, Trains 2012—which under the highly strained Jet 3 version crossed the line into better utilization of 64-bit graphics card computer architectures and like the preceding N3 Fifth Games developed Trains 2010, better utilizes modern multi-core CPU microprocessor units—though still a 32-bit core application. N3 Fifth Games has the public position that TS-2012 takes 32-bit architecture as far as it is possible, so in summer of 2013 began development of an entirely new 64-bit game engine called Trains, a new era which originally slated for Christmas 2014 release, has an official release on May 15, 2015 after a lot of troubles during alpha and beta testing. Tane was Kickstarter funded and the company released a partial version in December called T, and Community Edition effectively a public partial beta test lacking many of the promised features and capabilities. Lane is now the Chief Technology Officer for Sitahome which makes use of Oran Jet as the basis for its 3D home design program and other projects. 
Orin emerged from bankruptcy as Orin Holdings, Ltd which still owns the rights of the Trains franchise, now operated by N3V. Demise of Orin The remaining Orin management embarked on an expensive software development and virtually ignored the continued development of trains except for a series of joint ventures based on the extremely stable Trains 2006 software which had been released in late 2005. These joint ventures were mainly locally published and distributed regionally customized versions of TRS-2006 such as Trains Deluxe in which the local publishers, distributors bundled additional software such as Trains Videos, Video Capture Software, or a much more limited Trains Simulator Virtual Model Railway. In 2007, the game Fury was the most expensive game yet produced in Australia, costing $8.3 million. However, the game did not sell well on its release. On 13 December 2007, Orin Development, the company behind Fury, went into voluntary administration, having focused and spent heavily on development of the new game which flopped, squandering the ongoing cash flow from their Trains franchise. Despite the staggered releases of Trains Classics, Trains Classics 2 and 3 all versions focused on regionally specific routes partnered with organizations that had offered the route and asset content as payware, added a demo driver-only version Trains Driver as well as releases specific specifically aimed to grow the international clientele Trains 2007 and Trains 2008, French and Eastern European languages releases. The majority of staff was laid off. A new legal entity, Orin Games, emerged in the reorganization as the interim developer of the Trains series, and continued to operate the Trains business under the reorganization. During this period, the active Orin web board forums disappeared for over a month creating widespread user community anxieties, but was revitalized just short of five weeks later and the Trains franchise continued under Orin Games with a development team of just three individuals working on the next major Trains release with its many user-demanded improvements, Trains 2009, World Builder Edition. New investors. Soon after the Rump Company emerged from bankruptcy, Tony Hilliam, a trains devotee, offered additional capital, and the next year Orin Games became a subsidiary of N3 Fifth Games previously known as N3 VRF41L, co-founded by Graham Edelston and Tony Hilliam in 2005, and Edelston was the remaining founder at Orin while Tony Hilliam, a long-time railfan had participated in the train's 0.9 beta testing in 2000, and was an active and well-known figure on the Orin web board forums, and user of the train simulators. Helium injected much needed operating cash, rehired the sole available programmer from the train's beta team, Chris Bergman as lead programmer, hired additional staff and began once again to develop and improve the train's franchise with a new team of developers continuing work on what became Trains 2009, World Builder Edition. <laughs> new websites, new directions On 24 October 2008, the new team including Helium began Trains Online, a wiki dedicated to Trains technology. The new software featured a built-in web browser to assist Trains users, in place of publishing separate PDF manuals for each release. This was in part an attempt to re-engage the formerly hyper-active Trains user community assistance in tutorials for new users, but as of July 2013, the only user-written tutorial content was on the advanced topics of content creation 3D modeling techniques. Tony Hilliam himself authored most of the scant new user tutorial pages. <laughs> MMORPG and Trains Interactive On 6 October 2010, N3V and Frogster Pacific began operating a Brisbane-based server for the Runes of Magic MMORPG developed by RuneWaker Entertainment. In 2011, Trains 2010 SP3 was released incorporating a new interactive web play between multiple users, a move to increase DRM spurred by software piracy, and with that service pack, the first version of Trains where assets may not be convertible back fixed for older versions. The release is the first fully exploiting modern graphics cards and multi-core microprocessor desktop computers, which has been further extended in the Trains 2012 release April 
Topic: <laughs> Simulator Central. By mid-2011, N3V had begun offering payware add-on assets for trains developed by its third-party partners, and released a number of smaller game-style simple simulations. Late in 2012, it renamed its online store to Simulator Central and began marketing a whole catalog of simulation software titles, ranging from farming and zoo management simulations, taxi driving to become a fleet operator, and warfare simulations including naval battles. In 2012, the site began offering trains on smartphones and tablets, both under the iMac OS and Android technologies. By July 2013, their web store categories list nearly 200 titles, mostly for download, for Windows, Mac and boxed set DVD platforms Topic: <laughs> Games developed Dark Rain, The Future of War The Trains series Bridge It Fury Battlestar Galactica Harn, Bloodline <laughs> Games published War on Terror Spellforce Australian Chaser Airport Simulator Elemental, War of Magic Turbo Trains Trains 2009, World Builder Edition Trains 2010, Engineers Edition My First Trains Trains 2012-10th Anniversary Edition <laughs>